Uh, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, know that I say it how it is, no sugar coating. If you're back, welcome back. So we are doing a pick a card, or I guess pick a deck <clears throat> uh, for no contact, ghosted situations. Keep in mind, guys, um, not everything's going to resonate. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If it doesn't resonate, then the reading's not for you. They are general readings, right? Um, feel free to check for your specific signs. I did do two series that I didn't delete. I deleted like all my old readings that were monthlies from like over a year ago because, you know, they were not relevant anymore, but I kept those because they're timeless. So I think there's two of them. So you can check for your sign more particularly if you want some more insight on all of that. And we have the Pulp Tarot for your first pile, uh, Modern Witch deck for your second pile, and we have Love Attraction deck for your third pile. So I will give you guys a few seconds, meditate, think about your person, how you've been feeling lately, really get in the vibration and feeling of it all, and whichever one you are more drawn to intuitively, that should be the pile for you. Um, and go ahead. All right, if you need more time, pause now. And we are going to get into pile one, my new favorite deck. So let's see. So if you used to watch back in the day, um, my monthlies, that's pretty much what we're going to do here. So we're going to look into your recent past so it can kind of give you an inclination on if this reading is actually meant for you or not. And then we're going to look at their intentions, future actions, um, and some advice. And we'll do some oracles and some songs as well that could have some added messages for you. Okay? So, pile one. Recent past. Recent. Okay, well. Oh, no shit. No action. <laughs> nothing's been going on stagnation okay so well that's kind of a given pisces energy by the way some more pisces energy so you could be a pisces or you're dealing with a pisces and usually for love reading we like to look at sun moon rising and your venus okay um so Ooh. And we have the Knight of Swords in reverse. So, Gemini energy and some more Gemini. So, we got Gemini and Pisces coming on uh, very strongly. They could be a third party situation, which the Lovers is usually not a third party situation type of card. But I'm also a very intuitive reader, so I go a lot with the images as well. And there's three people here. Um, so,. Maybe not necessarily a third party situation, maybe more somebody else caught their eye. Um, Eight of Cups, I know a lot of people say it's like the walking away card, but that's like Six of Swords to me. Eight of Cups speaks more about escapism, which is a big part of, you know, Pisces energy. Um, so, um, I feel like this person kind of made a very swift decision. Um, whoever cut the other person off right but i do sense a little bit of regret here so maybe the grass was not greener on the other side especially if there were the problem you know <laughs> um what is that thing i used to say um the grass still ain't gonna be greener on the other side if uh, you're pissing all over it you know you can piss all over your grass and then you go thinking the grass is greener that's definitely not how i used to say it it was said way better <laughs> Um, than that but yeah so they may be realizing that the problem or maybe that you know the grass can be greener sometimes when problem arises and it's like oh this new thing is very tempting because it's new so there's no problems yet right um so yeah and i don't think it's really turning out the way they expected it to 
Um, I feel like, yeah, with that escapism type of energy, they maybe were trying to escape their own feelings, uh, escape the situation and just go look for something easier. But now problems may be arising over there. We're not going to really dig into that other shit. None of our business <laughs> for now. That's not what the reading's about, really. Um, unless it shows up in like intentions and actions and all that. Um, which I really like doing intentions versus actions because it shows us, you know, where their mind is really at um, versus what they're going to do. So if there's a big discrepancy there, I always think that's pretty interesting and it's good to know people's intentions, right? Um, I do feel like this person does have feelings for you, though. And like I said, like, I feel like they regret it now. They feel pretty stupid. Like, it was a swift decision made on, um, made on a poor conclusion on their part. All right, so let's see. What is this person's intentions moving forward? Mm-hmm. Well, there you go. Uh, speak for itself and eh? the fucking devil and again like three well there's always three people in the devil card i guess in the lovers too but it's usually more kind of an angel type of situation but to me the devil the devil upright um if you've been on my channel before it's about your own demons in reverse it's more about somebody else being the motherfucking demon Eight of Pentacles. Okay, so this person has a pattern of doing this. We got eight on eight. Um, so I don't know if you've been seeing like repeating eights or something, or they have and um, reminds them of you or something. Um, but yeah, if they keep doing the same shit over and over, I guess, you know, when things get rough, they run the fuck away. Um, when things get a little bit complicated, they just want to take the easy route, right? That's definitely something that they need to address. Mm. And we have the King of Pentacles at the bottom. So this person might be just way more focused. Like their intention is kind of to... I don't know. I'm not feeling like they're trying to address it. They might be more focused on money. Maybe they use people for money. You know, if I was sores, usually there's people in the background. Hey, on his deck, he's all there alone with his motherfucking swords. Um, so it could be a lot of self-defeating thoughts. Addictions, you know. Well, the devil has addictions as well. <clears throat> It might just be addicted to just kind of this pattern of mm, ego stroking, you know, just getting their ego stroked and just feeling like things are perfect. I, I feel like they have a big issue addressing their demons, addressing their issues, taking accountability, uh, working on things. Um, they just kind of like the easy route. I don't feel like there's even anybody else being like chirp chirp in their ear or anything like that. It's just them kind of being like, yeah, if it's not going to be to my benefit, like I want nothing to do with it. I feel like this person doesn't really like compromising. They don't intend on compromising. They just intend on keep like doing the same thing over and over and over. I feel like there's a lot of avoidance on doing their due diligence. You know, Eight of Pentacles talks about doing your due diligence. Um they don't want to do the due diligence on themselves. Damn, yeah, this person just fucking runs away. Very uh, avoidant attachment style. Their focus is more like money, power, status, things like that. Um, definitely like little narcissistic vibes, okay? So you can have narcissistic traits without necessarily having NPD, you know, you need a diagnosis for that. Um, I've actually been independently studying narcissism for like 10 years, so I don't like throw the word around um, meaninglessly. But yeah, 
and narcissists are usually so obsessed with like money status power um getting their ego stroke and that type of shit which is the vibe i'm getting here all right so let's see their actual action six of cups mm, the past nostalgia they're definitely thinking about it let's see if they're actually gonna do something mm, they will be coming coming in out of nowhere okay but see they're the knight and i like feel like you're the queen you're just a level up you know you got pages knights queens and king and they're definitely not a king type of energy um i do feel like they know that they got you trapped you're here watching this reading okay so you be thinking about it mm -mm. can't lie to me <laughs> i'm the one with the cards though what if it resonates like you know what i mean um <clears throat> they know they got you on lock a bit so i do feel like they are gonna come back like their intentions are not good it's just to kind of repeat that's what i mean like okay narcissists they look for a narcissistic supply so as long as you're supplying their ego stroking and all the shit that they want from you and they're gonna keep coming back so if you well going no contact is really the best way to handle narcissists but if you feel like you're not there yet look into the gray, gray rock technique and if you're not sure if they're a narcissist, that's a really good way to kind of get rid of one. They'll get bored of you. They they feed off your reaction. Okay? They feed off getting off, getting you upset. Having you care about them and not caring back. Like, that's just, I don't know, it fucking gets them off, eh? So, if you're really, really boring, like the gray rock technique is basically having the enthusiasm and the reactions of a fucking gray rock. <laughs> So you give them really minimal enthusiasm, very short answers, give them zero reaction. Like a normal person would like talk this stuff out. This person like would just kind of get bored or maybe get very aggressive with you, you know, um, and get pissy about it. Um, yeah, they're just not on your level and they know it really with like, you know, they're the night. They, they want to fuck like straight up. Knight of Wands is like fuck boy, um, the fuck girl type of energy. So yeah, and they're going to be coming in, trying to get their supply, trying to get some sex. Um, Queen of Wands is very seductive and very sexual. So I'm not sure if for some of you, this was more of a situationship where it was just kind of mainly sexual, but they're definitely going to try to reawaken this shit and like going to get you trapped there again well you're still a little trapped but keep in mind guys eight of swords is a prison of your own making like it's your own limiting beliefs so you have the power to get away from this fairly easily if you choose to do so it's like a it's a process right like you gotta stick to it like yeah you're not gonna like get over it like this obviously but it's a process you have to keep doing it you have to like emanate that i don't give a fuck energy until you generally don't give a fuck you know all right let's see let's see okay we're gonna do outcome actually and then advice and the oracles so outcome here most likely outcome obviously you can always switch up your energy baby Okay, see, Six of Swords, I told you that's the walking away card. So it does look like one of y'all is going to be walking away. Um, Six of Swords is getting the fuck away from the drama. Like, usually choppy waters to calmer waters. Okay, there's a lot of spying taking place, though. So I don't know if they're spying on you, you're spying on them, or maybe both of y'all. Um... So there will be some moving away and some spying and then kind of a turn around in the luck here and in the situation. So either for better or for worse. Usually it is for better upright, but like with all these cards, it's not exactly like the best type of energy. So 
I don't know, I feel like it's gonna depend on the person watching this. It's gonna depend which direction you decide to go. Are you really gonna like start rowing away from the shitty fucking choppy waters? Are you gonna be like watching them all the time until like shit turns around in your favor? Like because I don't think getting <laughs> in your favor because I don't feel like getting with this person is necessarily in your favor. Okay, so Nine of Swords is, you know, you're stressing, you're stressing. More Gemini energy too. Um, but you're stressing, stressing about it. Um, staying up at night, not sleeping that well. Um, just um, overthinking it, right? And yeah, see on the wall here, you have the Five of Swords. Their intentions. I feel like you stress a lot about their future intentions. Okay. Oh, oops, wait. I don't know what I did there. Yeah, it's time. It's time to let go. It's time to let go and move on and start healing for real. You need to stop stressing about their intentions and focus all that energy on yourself, which I know sometimes is easier said than done. But again, it's a process. You have to like practice makes perfect. Okay, it's time to make that decision. Stop being so indecisive. Stop being blind to the reality and denying, you know, what you already know. You know, you know. This reading hits, then you know. You know, it's time to let it the fuck go. Okay, advice, even though I'm already giving advice all the time. Um, King of Swords, cold, cut that shit off. You need to use your logic here. And we have a little butterfly here, which is usually in the deck card it talks about rebirth, right? So it's really time to switch it up. Switch up your energy. Be more logical. Turn your heart off a little bit, you know, and listen to your brain more than your heart. You know. Your brain keeps telling you no, no. Okay, and then the lovers flew out. I don't know, uh, right, uh, right, it doesn't matter. I feel like this is about self-love. Um, the lovers often does speak, like self-love contracts, like all types of different things, you know, depend which deck too, but it's like stop listening to your heart, start listening to your mind, cut this person off, focus on yourself and your self-love. Stop focusing your energy on this like new person. So I don't know if you're going to be like spying on social media, seeing them with this other person, stressing about their intention with them, their intentions with you. Like, that's not serving you in any way. Like, it doesn't make you feel good, right? So, start focusing more on things that make you feel good. Self-love, self-care. And close that door. The world is about completion. Like, you know, it can go two ways. You complete me or this needs to be completed. Closure. It's time to definitely close the door on this. It's like the last card of the Major Arcana. It closes the major arcana so it is really time for you to let this go for real sorry if that's not what you want to hear but i don't say what I, people want to hear i say if it happens to be what you want to hear then great but i'm gonna say it how it is a movement move away from this shit um also speaks about like messages so like i said they will be messaging you they will be reaching out um, but you need to shut their shit down. You need to be cold, cold, cold like a gray rock. Or just don't reply at all. You know? Say, who's this? And then don't reply at all. <laughs> I love doing that with, like, people that be trying to play in games. Because, you know, yeah, you'll know that I got it. <laughs> so don't try to, like, reach out to me anywhere else on any other avenues. But no, you're deleted. I don't care. And, you know, a really good trick if you really feel like, you know, you have a hard time kind of putting your foot down and setting your boundaries and saying no, even though if you know that's what you got to do, um, change their name in your phone, like do something like like the worst thing they've ever said, the worst thing they've ever done. So like that when it pops on your phone, like you'll remember the fucked up shit they did and said and, you know, check yourself in that way. I used to do that when I was younger. Okay, let's see what the oracle has got to say. If they want to come out. Q. 
Cupid's arrow. Have faith. Love is coming. Surprise invitation or meeting. Hesitation. Okay, so they are coming. You're going to hesitate. I do feel like a better love is going to come your way, but you got to make space for it. Nobody has room to come in when you're obsessing over somebody else. That's the reality. Okay. Sudden change. Shocking news. Surprise. Epiphany. Upheaval. Transformation. Okay, you did have the little butterfly, rebirth, transformation, Scorpio energy. Um, so I feel like it is going to hit you out of nowhere. Could also be speaking about them like coming out of nowhere. Or it could be like this shocking news is finding out about this other person. Um, unconditional love, self-love, oneness, passion, affection, attraction. So you need to focus on your self-love. I feel like you are going to have this ep epiphany. Whether it's like the way in which they contact you and whatever dumb shit they say, seeing them with another person might like make you finally, you know, get the reality of the situation. Um, or you might just get off of it on your own and just get freaking fed up. I do feel like you're, you're at that point now where, you know, you're fed up. Let's do the love oracle. passion allow your heart and soul to sing with joy i do feel like there's a lot of passion there like i said i'm getting very this sexual vibes like it was a lot of more of a sexual connection than you know anything else which again is very prevalent with narcissists okay um more like you know trauma bond type of vibe they get you through sex often you know um but it's usually really nothing more than that to them anyways, right? Um, but yeah, you got to allow your heart and your soul to really, like, feel the real things. Because I feel like it's more your, your, your crotch talking, okay? When they hit you up, than your actual heart. Very soon... Okay, see, very soon you love. Okay, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. We did have that two of swords underneath, right? Like that indecisive energy. Like not really seeing what's up and just kind of being like, yeah, okay, like I know, but I don't want to make a choice. I don't want to make that move. I don't want to end it. But you need to. If you do end this, there is, there is new love coming, okay? A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. So, you got to make room for it, though. Like, the universe is going to be sending you, like, your vibration. Not what you want, not what you ask for, your vibration. So, you got to make sure that you raise your vibration, that you focus on your self-love so you can bring somebody that is actually going to love you and be good for you. You know? Know what I mean, Jelly Bean? Okay, we're gonna get a song or two for you. They are gonna be, <clears throat> oh, sorry. They are gonna be in your, um, in your pile there, right under, Jesus, right under your pile timestamp. <laughs> uh, the links to the song, so you can go check them out. Make it easy peasy for ya. All right. Let me mix it up real good first. All right. Okay, give me a song or two for file one, please. Oh, there we go. So, could be added messages in there for you. Um... Check them out. Oh, well, there you go. If that isn't what we've been done saying most of this reading. Sam Cook, a change is gonna come. I think everybody knows the song. If you don't, um, hello. It's like a classic, fucking gorgeous song. Check that out. Um, if you already know it, add it to your playlist. And definitely a song that you can play um, when you're feeling a little bit low. 
um, or if they hit you up, uh, play that song. Do you want something new and different or do you want the same old, same old? I don't think you want the same old, same old, according to this motherfucking reading. If this resonates with you, then, you know. So, yeah. And then Emmeline Hush, which she does make songs about, you know, mostly fairly toxic relationships and like empowering songs about fucking shutting that shit down. <laughs> but yeah, so definitely go check out these two songs. The description box or the comment section will have the links for you. All right. Uh, if you're new here, um, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell. If it resonated with you, let me know down below. If it did and which pile you picked, leave a like if you like it. Leave a dislike if you don't. All press is good press. Perception is everything. <laughs> All right, guys. Either way, thanks for watching. Bye. Let's see these. Pile one. Two was this one. All right, hello, pile two. If you pick the modern witch tarot, um, we are gonna look at your recent past in love, so you can see if this reading is meant for you or not, and then we'll look at their intentions versus their actions, and then we will look at. Um, most likely outcome based on this current energy, right? You always have the choice to switch it up. And then advice, oracles, and some songs for added messages. And let's do this. Pile two. Show me recent past for pile two, please. Just no contact person. Five of swords. Well, damn. Well, God motherfucking damn. Um, so much fighting energy. So somebody's definitely feeling hella backstabbed and betrayed here. So many fights, so many arguments, like verbal abuse and verbal attacks, bullying, um, which led somebody to go consider their options, okay? And remember, too, the roles can be reversed. So maybe you're the one who was, you know, um, who betrayed them or vice versa. It doesn't matter. Maybe they're the one that betrayed you and then fucking was like, oh, I'm going to run away now. Um, and not taking accountability. I don't know. Or maybe you cheated or something. I don't know. I'm not necessarily seeing cheating. But, you know, betrayal, backstabbing. It could be a whole lot of different things. Um, it's going to depend on the watcher. Like, you'll know if it resonates what particularly happened but damn that is definitely not some great energy fives are pretty harsh like some of the sores are pretty harsh and like the fives um are usually not the best cards so um you kind of a little bit all over you got some aquarius energy some leo some um Sorry, Seven of Cups, Scorpio, and Gemini energy. So kind of a bit of a mixed bag. No signs really sticking out. Unlike Pile 1. So usually if the signs don't stick out, I feel like it doesn't really matter. It's a mixed bag of energy here. But yeah, somebody definitely feels betrayed. Got fed up of like fighting and... You know, five of swords also give like very gaslighty type of energy, you know? Usually people aren't verbally abusive and bullying and like fucking with people's heads for no reason. So you could have caught this person doing something, had some receipts, and yeah, they were like, you know what, I'm gonna go see somewhere else because I'm tired of fighting here. Um, or they're like, I'm gonna go somewhere else because like they're, they're just putting up a fight and arguing and standing up for themselves and whatever but you know keep in mind guys like setting up boundaries doesn't mean fighting 
setting up boundaries it means like yeah that's my boundary you're not respecting that so bye you know that is a boundary if you keep fighting then there's no boundary it's just like okay i'm telling you that you can't do that but my actions are showing you that i'm gonna take it anyways because i'm staying so setting a boundary is kind of walking away when that boundary is crossed so somebody definitely walked away obviously so no contact ghosted reading Okay, so let's see their intentions towards you moving forward. Nine of Wands, setting boundaries. Ha, ha, ha. Um, I do get the vibe for some of you, like it could be reversed, but I do get the vibe that maybe the watcher here did something. Mm -mm. Um, because of their intention is to set boundaries. Um, it could be like a power play because they're the ones that did wrong, but it could also be that, you know, you did wrong, you know, you know which side you're on. Um, and they're just not having it. But let's see, that that's what their intent is to uphold their boundary. But mm, there's also uh, some talk of rekindling things. That always makes me think too, somebody holding their dick in their hands. So, um... They could be trying to make a move, you know, wands are a very passionate sexual type of energy. So, let's see what else comes out. Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Nine of Swords. Okay, so they do intend to come in quite swiftly. They do want to uphold their boundaries or they just want to cross your boundaries and they don't give a fuck. Nine of Pentacles in reverse. If you watch my readings, you know Nine of Pentacles is my ultimate single and thriving card, um, financial independence. So they may be a little baroque uh, financially or a little bit baroque uh, emotionally and not really enjoying being single and being without you or not enjoy... Um, um, what was I going to say? Or be sexless. Okay, that's what I was trying to say. So, yeah. So, they might be coming to offer some some D. And they feel like it is going to be very swift and out of nowhere. Okay, Knight of Swords is very swifty energy. Not like Swifties, like Taylor Swift. But, you know, just swift, like, psh, out of nowhere. Like, very unexpected. And it's probably going to happen, too, in the next few days. That's their intention, though. We're going to look at their actions. Because wands are very quick. And a sword is very quick. Pentacles are super slow, but it's in reverse. So, mm. um, yeah. Very, very shortly, you shall be hearing from them. Or maybe you want to message them shortly. Again, it, intentions. This is kind of what they're thinking about doing, right? So, yeah. I don't know. I don't have much else to add on that one. But, you know, it's not very good intentions either. But let's see what they're actually going to do, though. The devil. The devil came out in the last reading. What's with these fucking devil, <laughs> devil motherfuckers? Um, but, yeah. So if you watched me before, you know the devil upright to me is your own demons. Obsession, addictions, blah, 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 whatever type of fucking demons you got going on. Um, in reverse, it's more like the other person's being a fucking demon. Um, but yeah, so let's see what else comes out. Capricorn energy too. King of Swords. Okay, very cold, very calculated. That's how they're going to be moving towards you, okay? So maybe that like a little initial twinge of, you know boundaries as a power play um mm. like almost like they want to teach you a lesson because you, you caught them doing something and you were like not having it because king of swords like you know the swords family they're very cool like it's thoughts it's um you know, thoughts and words, but with no real, like, emotional or passionate depth to it, right? Um, well, depending what's around, it's next to the devil. So, a very calculated type of energy. Oh, well, there you go. 
And the Seven of Swords. Like, I don't know if it can really get worse. Oh, well, Ten of Cups. So they are going to make promises, promises that they do not intend to keep. Okay? It's all manipulation. They want to take. They want to take whether that's sex whether that's your time your energy um some narcissistic supply to feed on i don't know is this narcissistic fucking reading galore um because yeah it is very narcissistic manipulative type of vibe um but even worse than the last one if i'm being completely honest so there's like four subtypes of narcissism maybe even more um so you have overt covert um altruistic and then malignant malignant is really the fucking worst one it's like cruel and sadistic which is kind of the vibe here like they know exactly what they're doing they might come in and like try and love bomb a little bit um just to get what they want like it just feels so cold and calculated like they're here to take 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 like their intentions didn't seem that great the past doesn't seem that great and honestly, their actions seem even worse, okay? Like, I'm not gonna lie to you. Emperor in reverse, very controlling, angry and energy. You know, the emperor is ruled by Aries. Aries is Mars, god of war. Like, that's some war-ass type of energy, right? Like, so yeah, the emperor in reverse is more of a dictator, di dictator dictator as opposed to a leader right um it's somebody that's very angry and very controlling and they just want what they want and they don't care how they get it they don't care who they hurt they they just don't care so yeah so the outcome here ace of swords clarity new perception mm -hmm. so you might you might get away from this i hope you do all i can do is give you some advice and guidance you know nobody can make you change your change yourself change your environment like you can't change other people you can't change this person this person is motherfucking fucked up they ain't gonna change you like i like to say a lot recently like you know a lot of people sometimes um, when you get played, you just need to know why. But there's no way to know why. Like, if a cannibal's trying to eat your legs, are you going to try to figure out? Or are you going to run away while you still got legs? Okay? feel like you got to run away while you still got legs. Okay, but... It's possible outcome. Right now. Mm -hmm. See, promise you happiness and joy, but then backstab you. So, I do feel like you're going to go for it one more time. I feel like you might fall for it one more time and then get backstabbed again and then finally close the door. The world, the, the world the, is closure, okay? It's like you're, you're done with it. It's like you might need one more round on the merry-go-round of fucking bullshit and betrayal. Sometimes, you know, we, we need to learn the hard way. I've been there. Most of us have, you know? Um, I don't know so much about narcissism because I didn't suffer at the ends of it exponentially. That's why I was studying it for, you know, 10 years plus before it became a really well-known subject. I actually found out about it looking things up online and it was like, okay, I'm feeling like this. This person is saying these things and making me feel like this. And like through a lot of research, I finally found a forum where there's like a whole bunch of us who had very similar experiences. And then I'm like going through the forum, reading everything. And this one person was a psychologist and they're like, that sounds a lot like narcissistic personality disorder, what y'all are talking about. And that was the beginning of my journey on, you know, researching this particular motherfucking fucked up personality disorder. All right. So, yeah. It's it's not the easiest thing to get off of, okay? King of Cups. Yeah, you're gonna fall for it. The love bombing. The bullshit offer. You're just gonna be like all happy and feeling, because they will do that. They will make you feel like, oh, everything's gonna be perfect. Like they fucking finally gonna change. Like they learned their lesson, but it's game. 
you're, you're gonna find out you might even find out through social media through a text messages maybe somebody else is gonna send you some receipt because like she's lying down on her phone right um and yeah and that's gonna be finally the nail in the coffin for you that's gonna make you close that door okay some advice six of wands six of cups King of Cups, that Five of Cups. You do have a lot of Scorpio energy here. Okay, Scorpio energy, um, Death Card, Transformation, um, Rebirth and all that, right? Because it's uh, Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. There's a little Leo thrown in there. Um, so yeah, I feel like it is going to be a pretty fucking intense ride but you have to start looking at what you have and stop focusing on what you don't have of uh, focusing on what you're missing because like you you have so much better options out there so much actual love like there's no love there right all the those cups are empty and that's what you're focusing on as opposed to those empty cups that you're not even seeing um you are, I feel like you are in the end going to triumph, but like you have to believe in yourself. You have to believe that you're worth it. Like Leo, I'm a Leo. Leo vibes is, you know, well, upright is being confident in reverse is being more like arrogant, <laughs> but you need to give yourself the attention you deserve. You need to give the attention to what is worth your attention. Um, I do feel like somebody from your past might come back. Um, or there's somebody you've known for a really, really long time that is actually interested in you, but you're not paying attention because your eye is on this motherfucker, okay? And his, fa his, and his false promises. So, let's see what's under. The hermit, you need some self-reflection -re and some solitude. You really do need to cut this person off, but I do feel like you're, you're going to give it one more chance and then you're going to finally, like, see. It's like you almost need to kind of prove it to yourself that 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 it's true that they're shit that they're not gonna change or that this reading is true or whatever the case is and again see she's on a computer there so i feel like you are gonna see something online that is gonna really be that nail in the coffin all right focus on your money honey focus on your work all right let's do the oracles any more information, please? Deception. Well, duh. Well, duh. I'm not going to say anything more. If someone is wearing a false mask, self mask in this relationship. Well, we, we know that one. Soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. I feel like, no, like they're trying to act like they're your soulmate. Maybe they mirror you a lot. Okay, and one thing I've learned, guys, don't ever tell people, like, that you're dating, like, what you're looking for. Let them show you who the fuck they are, because that is, like, the worst thing, and I used to do that all the time. I'm an oversharer. I talk a lot. Surprise. <laughs> Fucking Leo's talk a lot. But, well, like, second to Gemini's. Um, but, yeah, and if you give somebody, like, you're literally giving them the roadmap on how to love bomb you, how to manipulate you, how to pretend to be that person... So you might have given that person way too much information on how, what you want, what you're looking for. And it's easy for them to like mirror that and project that onto you and pretend to be that person. But it's fucking bullshit. So yeah, maybe carry that lesson in the future. Okay, just let people be who they are. And let them show you and believe them. That you know you can't change them. If like they're not the type of person you're looking for, like move on keep an open mind yeah your soulmate may differ from your usual type and uh, expectations so you might have this like picture of the type of person and maybe that is that past person right maybe you're like oh no like you know and you've never really given them a chance or maybe you know you never thought it would be a good match or maybe there's somebody new that is going to be coming into your life and they don't really match like the list you made. But maybe it's time to revisit that list or maybe just throw it out the window. And let's see what else. Seven of 
self indulgent, focus on self, self worth, time to heal, shadow work, self appreciation. Yes, you need that take time alone, that self reflection. You really, really, really need that healing heart. Okay, healing from heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationship or addiction. It's definitely as toxic as it gets, guys. The runner, runner in a codependent relationship, fear of intimacy, listening to ego. So yeah, I feel like you're the runner. Like this person knows exactly what they're doing. They're not running. They know exactly what the fuck they're doing. I don't even think they're capable of intimacy or anything, to be honest. Like a malignant narcissist, like most narcissists, they're not even cap capable of that shit. They don't change. They're not, they, and they know what they're doing, okay? Oh, fuck that so you're you're codependent you need to look into codependency and why you have a fear of intimacy and why you're listening to your ego because at the end of the day um you do not attract emotionally unavailable people if you are not also emotionally avail unavailable if you were emotionally available like you would be repelled by this type of energy speaking from experience <laughs> Like, it took a minute for me to admit to myself that I was also emotionally unavailable um, when I was in the most awful relationship I was in. Um, yeah, I, I was, you know, playing that push and pull game as well. Like, you can't play that game by yourself. You're, you need to realize that you're participating and that it's time to put a stop to it and focus on you. You're the person that you can change. You're the person that you can change it and do better for they're not going to change you can't change anybody else people are going to do whatever the fuck they want to do okay let's get you a song or two but you could have add in messages just definitely check them out it could just be a lyric it could just be the whole vibe of the song it could just be a good song to put on when you think about them to like just kind of set your mind straight oh that fucking hurt my finger Okay, the links will be down below under your pile timestamp. Easy peasy, you just click on the links. Okay, let's see. Yeah, a song or two, please, the pile two. Okay, there you go. Oh, right there. Jesse Murph, upgrade. Definitely time to upgrade. Upgrade yourself, your perception, your level of self-love. Upgrade in term of partner. Um, and then Alex Claire, Damn Your Eyes. Oh. Okay, so Damn Your Eyes, it's an old song. I think it's from Edna James or something. The original, but oh, that's such a good version of it. So check that out. Um, that could be a clue. Or you could be obsessed with their eyes. And maybe that's what draws you back in. So shh, don't look at him in the eyes. Don't get hypnotized. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, but it could also be kind of talking about that upgrade. The next person that's going to come in, maybe that's a sign that their eyes are just going to be like something, something else. What really, really draws you into them. Okay, guys, if you like the reading, hit the like button. If you don't. Hit the dislike button. It helps me out either way. <laughs> uh, leave a comment. Let me know if it resonates, which pile you picked. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell so you can see more videos from me in the future. If you like it, of course, you know. Uh, either way, thank you so much for watching. Bye. Hello, pal three, if you picked the Law of Attraction deck, let's get into it. We are going to do a recent past in love with this situation more specifically. Um, and you can see if this reading resonates and makes sense for you. Then we'll do intentions versus actions. Mm -hmm. 
let's see if there's a discrepancy there and then um most likely outcome based on you know your current energy and the way you move in and all that and there's right and advice we'll do some oracles and a song or two for some added messages all right so pile three recent past in love if i can shuffle Queen of Wands, a very sexual, seductive energy. Like, all these readings are not the most positive, but clearly, if it was vibes um, and it was positive, there'd be no ghosting or no contact. So, it is to be expected. But, yeah. So, Nine of Swords is usually, you know, you stressing yourself out. But in this deck, and I definitely felt like drawn to use different decks for different piles, um... You see, this person is really belittling the other person. And clearly, there's not this size difference in real life. It's not like they're a giant. But it's somebody that likes to put other people down to make themselves feel bigger and better. Oh, God, I hate this shit. So, and you know, Queen of Wands is very sexual energy. And it's just kind of a, an energy, like seductive energy. And it's not necessarily means like you have to be sexy. So, you know, because see, she's very covered up, very demure, very modest. But still, you know, an em emanating that type of energy. She's a Aries thing, Queen of Wands. We've got Aries, Gemini energy. And Six of Cups energy. And then Seven of Pentacles in reverse. So, um, Taurus. Taurus Scorpio. So you got a mixed bag of energy. Not really like any signs sticking out here. Um, but yeah, it feels like it's going nowhere. Definitely like focus on the wrong things here. Whether that's you or them. Um, you know, roles can always be reversed in readings about two people so it's like there's no progress like this shit was going nowhere fast there was a lot of belittling i feel like this has been going on for a while okay six of cups that speak about like the past memories exes and then with that giant hourglass it's like time time it's been going on for a while but yet nothing has progressed nothing has changed nothing has ever gotten better you know, Seven of Pentacles is about progressing and focusing on things until, like, things grow and things become better. Which I love this deck. Like, some of the cards are so cool. But you see how it's like you go from a little bench to, like, a bigger wooden chair. And then you go from, you know, to a little swivel chair and then a more comfortable swivel chair. And then the ultimate swivel chair. So it's like upgrading and progressing, you know. But no, he's still on that little bench fucking chair motherfucker of a relationship after God knows how long. So clearly not working. I feel like there's a sexual connection there, but it's not really, it's never progressed beyond that. Person may make you feel like, you know, oh yeah, I like sex good, whatever. Yeah, I like you, blah, blah, blah. But really, I feel like they put shit in your head. They put you down. They like poke at your little insecurities. And they could be doing that more subtly um, than necessarily doing it that way. Like find one little thing that you're not as um, secure about and then point out how great it is on other people, you know? People be shysty. Um, I look a lot into, I study a lot narcissism and manipulation techniques, so like, I'm aware of them and I can avoid them. Like, people will do real fucked up shit. Some people out there just be trifling, okay? So, I feel like this person is just, you know, the last couple pi piles, very strong narcissistic nonsense vibe, okay? Especially the second one. This one, not necessarily getting that energy. I just feel like it's a bit of like bullying energy. Um, very just, this person has no confidence. And they feel like you're very confident and they want to just put you down, lower you to their level so they can keep having access to you more than like being a narcissist. You know, it's two very different things. So 
some people can just be like have a couple issues it doesn't mean they're you know have a personality disorder if their intentions the fool so they definitely want to come back but they don't want to really necessarily put themselves out there because it's okay it's um eight of cups like escapism but like, it doesn't even matter with this deck some cards are just so different but to me that's more like rolling the dice taking the risk right so it's like yeah they want to take that leap of faith but they don't want to be risky about it it's like they don't want to get turned down and then um what is this five fourteen temperance um so yeah um well they're getting a little bit impatient like it's almost like they want you to message them is my deck in reverse here or no, okay there's just a few cards in reverse ace of wands and so yeah it's like pff, they're not really feeling the connection right now so they don't necessarily intend on messaging you just yet We'll see in their actions if they're actually going to do it. They don't want to kind of get shut down, basically. They're also kind of impatient. I feel like they want you to message them. It's like they're waiting on you. They're like getting impatient. They don't want to put themselves out there because they don't want to look stupid. Um, I don't know, man. This person's weird. I just feel like they feel like you're, you're out of their league. And like instead of being like amazing to you and just like they're just insecure and they want to put you down make you feel insecure so you won't leave them you know, dumb shit you know it's stupid very stupid and immature but what are they actually gonna do though empress they might write a letter or maybe they're writing about you instead of actually contacting you yeah I feel like they might be like writing in a journal, writing about you, writing about how they feel, but they're not, you know, making, they're not really gonna make any moves. King of Pentacles, Three of Cups. So they might be, um, yeah, yeah. I don't feel like they're gonna actually message you. I think they might start entertaining somebody else while they wait for you to message them, try to kind of distract themselves. Like, try to open another door somewhere else. Maybe even go on a vacation, go on a trip, trying to go have a fling to kind of uh, get you off their mind while they wait on you to message them. Um, you know, like, that's the only bother. They could maybe be some hope, but I feel like they'd have to be willing to go to therapy because they need therapy um, with that whole insecure bullshit. So, yeah, I just feel like they're trying to kind of rest, keep to themselves. Um, just kind of write about it. But not really do anything about it. Like they're kind of avoiding the situation and focusing on something else or someone else. And try to pretend like they're unbothered, but really they Okay, let's see most likely outcome, like on the current energy, like if the energies here don't change. Six of wands, four of wands, ace of swords, a magician. Actually pretty decent cards, but like six of wands is usually, you know, about really wanting attention, getting that attention not necessarily wanting it that's more in reverse but um just getting that attention but like in this deck it's more you know it's funny because he's cutting hay up and she's chewing on a piece of hay mm. so i feel like they're gonna try to get your attention in some way like i said they want you to message them so if you do have them on social media i feel like they might post like cryptic stuff they might try to like drop some subliminals hoping that you're gonna message them like because i feel like see like use 
like some type of attention to kind of get your attention and get you talking. I don't know, because I'm like looking at the hay and then the piece of hay in her mouth, if you get what I'm saying. Because uh, Ace of Swords is like a new perspective and new per like clarity and new perception. So they want you to make you, they want to try to make you see um, how they want you to see things and make you communicate with them. And use whatever skills, whatever weird manipulation techniques, whatever the fuck, like, to, like, get what they want and get you to respond and act um, in the way that they want you to. This person just fucking needs some therapy, okay? Needs to get off this shit because it's so immature. So fucking immature. I don't know what else to say. Like, immature, insecure nonsense. So I don't think they're necessarily, like, malicious. I'm, I just think they're kind of a fucking idiot. <laughs> but, you know, if you really, really love this person, like, there's hope. Like, the other two piles, like, there's some hope here. But it's really dependent on do they want to change? Do they want to do the work? Do they want to take accountability? Do they want to be vulnerable? Do they want to address these issues and these insecurities? Or are they just going to fucking stonewall and just project onto you and just uh, refuse to see it? Because you can't change anybody. Like, you can lead this little horsey to water, but you can't make him drink, you know? So, what's the advice for you? Uh, seven of Cups. Really consider your options. Um, mm, devil in reverse. Okay, so the devil upright to me, if you watch my readings, it's like your own demons and obsession and addictions. But in reverse, it is like other people being fucking fucked up and being the demon. Um, so you need to consider your options of if you want to deal with his motherfucking demons, basically. <laughs> like, do you want to bother solving their problems? Do you, do you want to really take on that task? Like, is it your problem? Do you think they're willing? Do you care that much? Or would you rather go find somebody who's just kind of going to treat you right from the get? Um, definitely listen to your intuition on this one. It's like crystal ball, right? Might be different for different people. A four of cups. It's kind of rub up boredoms. But here I feel like it's more like solid foundation. So again, like, yeah. Consider your options. Do you want to solve their demons? Or, like, work at that? Or do you want to go and um, find someone that is already standing strong? That can already, like, treat you the way you deserve? Or do you want to, like, hope that this person learns? and learns to compromise and learns to figure out what's wrong with them because it is going to be a lot of work. You do have the lovers at the bottom. So it's basically your choice. Like, do you want to go for that, like, struggle love, like, difficult path um, and help them fix their issues? Like, is it worth it? Like, do you love them that much? Have you been with them that long? Do you see that there's some potential there? Um, or do you want... A more solid love that's going to be solid from the get you know okay let's do the oracles two of them flew getting to know each other pay attention to the red flags so you can get to know somebody new you know this person well enough to maybe make a decision already there's a lot of red flags okay d is it worth working on or not like it's really your choice well it's always is your choice obviously but you know what i'm saying reconciliation yeah there's a reconciliation there you can message them first but like you know if you want well you can wait around till they do the reconciliation here is like 1000 percent possible there's red flags do you want to get to know them more do they care about doing the work do you care about supporting them through all of that and are they capable of it or do you want to move on it's really like your choice. Paradise. Happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, enjoying each other. So, you know, th there's potential there. It really depends on if you want to and if they're willing. The relationship is over. No second chance. Growth and trans grow and transform your life. It's like so opposite, right? Because it depends. 
And it really depends on the person, like how bad was the shit they were saying? How bad were they behaving? Cause like for some of y'all, it's motherfucking over. For others of y'all, there's really a chance to reach that happiness. If it's just kind of, you know, it's been a few months and it's just kind of their issues poke their heads out here and there. Um, and you think it's workable, it really gonna depend on the degree of the shit they've done inside, right? Lightning, sudden change, shocking news, surprise, epiphany, upheaval, transformation. So transformation needs to happen. You gotta transform your life, transformation. You got twice in here, transformation, right? So and it's up to you. This person, you can transform the relationship if they're willing to, or you can just move on and transform your life on your own, you know? I don't have much else to add here. Except the song YouTube. The links will be down below under your timestamp. Okay, so check them out. Me some added messages, some inspiration, some like support, you know, music can be very supportive in hard times. And just a message, like a lyric. Okay, close again. <laughs> Alright. So let's get a song or two for pal three, please. Get one for you. We'll see if another one wants to come up. No, get one for you. So you got Maxwell, this woman's work. Oh, this song is so sexy. A voice, that falsetto. All right. Um, I feel like most people know that song. If you don't, definitely check it out. It is a, an amazing classic. Um, but yeah. I feel like it does kind of fit in this reading. Like, if you feel like that person could get there, uh -oh, then sure. If not, then maybe it's time to go find somebody else. All right? So, if you like the reading, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a thumbs down because, you know, all press is good press. It kind of helps me either way. <laughs> um, leave a comment. Let me know um, in which file you picked, if it resonated. I always like to read you guys' comments. I read them all. Uh, well, I don't get that many, so <laughs> hard not to, but still new, getting back. Um, I kind of took a hiatus for a while. Um, subscribe and hit the bell if you're new and you like it here so you can see more videos from me in the future. Either way, guys, thanks for watching. Bye.